Welcome to Read Along Kid. <laughs> hey there, Read Along Kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig. George catches a cold. Mummy Pig says Peppa and George can play in the rain, but they must wear rain clothes to keep dry. But George hates wearing his rain hat, so he throws it into the muddy puddle. Peppa knows that is not a good idea. He <laughs> Come inside, children, calls Daddy Pig. It's raining too hard now. Where's your hat, George? asks Mummy Pig. Achoo! replies George. Oh dear, George has caught a cold. Achoo! George cannot stop sneezing. Poor little George, says Mummy Pig. You don't look very well. Don't worry, I'll call Dr. Brown Bear, says Daddy Pig. Will George have to go to the hospital? asks Peppa. No, George has to go to bed, replies Daddy. So George is not truly sick then, says Peppa, disappointed. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better, says Daddy Pig. Why, asks George, because you have to keep warm, says Daddy. Dr. Brown Bear is here to see George. Open wide and say, ah, ah. He says, George is a little afraid of Dr. Brown Bear. He hides under his sheets with Mr. Dinosaur. Dr. Brown Bear asks Peppa to show George that he does not have to be scared. Ah, uh, says Peppa. George laughs and comes out from under his sheets. He opens his mouth so Dr. Brown Bear can look. Ah, uh, says George. George has caught a cold. Dr. Brown Bear tells Mummy Pig he can have some warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear, says Mummy Pig. You're welcome. Goodbye, says Dr. Brown Bear before driving off in his special white car. The next morning, George wakes up early the warm milk made him sleep very well. Roar! cries George, waking up Peppa. He is feeling much better. It's a lovely sunny day, but George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat when it's warm and sunny. Mummy Pig tells him. He <laughs> Everyone laughs. George never goes in the rain without his hat again. Hey there, Read Along Kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig Not Very Well. Peppa has red spots on her face. I don't feel very well, she says. Oh dear, Mummy Pig frowns. You don't look very well. She decides to call Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear is sitting in his surgery. He listens very carefully to Mummy Pig. Hmm, says Dr. Brown Bear. Put Peppa to bed and I'll come straight round. Dr. Brown Bear drives to Peppa's house. He has come to make her better. Hello, says Dr. Brown Bear. How are you today? I am not very well. Peppa sighs. Dr. Brown Bear tells Peppa to stick her tongue out and say, Aw. Dr. Brown Bear nods his head. It's not anything serious, he says. Peppa has just got a rash. Peppa has a rash. It is very exciting. Do I need medicine, she asks. The rash will clear up quickly, says Dr. Brown Bear. But if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please, says Peppa. Peppa snorts. The 
the medicine tastes disgusting. I will come back later to check that you are better, says Dr. Brown Bear. Can Peppa have visitors? Asks Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, says Dr. Brown Bear. The rash isn't catching. Mummy Pig rings up Susie Sheep's mummy. May Peppa talk to Susie, please, she says. Susie comes to the phone. Peppa tells her about the spots and the medicine and being really ill. I'm coming to see you, Susie says, in my nurse's outfit. Susie arrives in her nurse's outfit. Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. Hello, Peppa, they say. I'm not very well, says Peppa. I have to stay in bed. Poor Peppa, Susie, Danny, and Rebecca wonder what they can do to make her better. Peppa asks Susie to bring her some orange juice. She thinks up some things for Danny and Rebecca to do, too. Do you feel any better now? Asks Susie. Peppa sighs. A little bit. Dr. Brown Bear arrives. He has come to see how Peppa is doing. No more red spots, he says. You're completely better. Aren't I still a bit ill? Asks Peppa. Peppa wonders if she should stay in bed just in case. Daddy Pig looks out of the window. I fancy a game in the garden, he says. Who wants to join me? Me, 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 says Susie, Danny, and Rebecca. And me, shouts Peppa. Hooray, Peppa is feeling better after all. Hey there, eat along kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig. Peppa goes to the hospital. Today we're going to visit Pedro Pony in hospital. Madame Gazelle tells the class, Pedro's leg is broken and the doctors are mending it. Peppa has never been to the hospital before. Except when I was born, of course, Peppa says. I'm wearing my nurse outfit, Susie Sheep says, because hospitals are very serious. But when the class arrives on the children's ward, the walls are full of color. Ooh, they all say as they set off to find Pedro. Pedro is in bed with his leg in a plaster cast. Does it hurt? Zoe Zebra asks. It did at first, Pedro says, but not anymore. Do you want to draw on it? What's it like being in the hospital? asks Peppa. It's great, replies Pedro. Nurse gives me stickers and comes whenever I press this button. Beep, beep. Another nurse comes with a trolley. Lunch time, she says. Spaghetti and sponge pudding, please, says Pedro. Wow, you get to eat in bed, gasps Peppa. Dr. Brown Bear visits Pedro. You're nearly better and ready to go home. The bell rings. Visiting time has ended. Get well soon, wave the children. A few days later, Pedro is back. Where is your plaster cast? Asks his friends. My leg is all better. It's a super leg now, Pedro says. Thank you for visiting me in hospital. Hey there, read along kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Papa Loves Doctors and Nurses. It was people who help us stay at playgroup, and everyone was excited. Now children, began Madame Gazelle. Today we have two very special visitors. They are both people who help us. Is one the queen? asks Peppa. Is one my auntie? 
asked Rebecca Rabbit. Dinosaur, roar, asked George. Three wonderful guesses, said Madame Gazelle. But the people coming to see us today are Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Hooray, cheered the children, jumping up and down. They love Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. When I hurt my leg, I had to go to the hospital, said Pedro Pony. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox looked after me. When I was feeling poorly, says Peppa, Dr. Brown Bear made me all better. Just then, there was a noise from outside. The children run to the window to look. Madame Gazelle, it's Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Good morning, everyone, said Dr. Brown Bear. Today, Nurse Fox and I are going to talk to you about keeping fit and staying healthy. Let's start by going over to the playground and getting our bodies moving. Yippee! cheered the children. They loved moving around outside. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox had built an obstacle course. To keep fit and healthy, we must move our bodies every day, said Dr. Brown Bear. Madame Gazelle will show us all how it's done. The children watched in amazement as Madame Gazelle completed the obstacle course perfectly. Ta-da! she cried. Now it's your turn, children, said Dr. Brown Bear. Ready, steady, go! Peppa and her friends set off. They swung, crawled, hopped, slid, skipped, and jumped around. This is so much fun, isn't it, Susie? cheered Peppa. But as she turned to Susie Sheep, Peppa forgot to look where she was going and fell on her bottom. Oops, cried Peppa. Thump. Nurse Fox came straight over. Are you all right, she asked. I think so, said Peppa. Good, said Nurse Fox, checking that Peppa was not hurt. You can carry on now, Peppa, but please be careful. Thank you for helping me, said Peppa. Peppa loved the obstacle course. This is my favorite. But she cried, jumping high and landing in a big, muddy puddle. I'm not sure that's part of the course, Peppa, said Madame Gazelle, smiling. Snack time, called Nurse Fox. Hooray, cheered the children. Don't forget to wash your hands before you eat, said Nurse Fox. All the children went to wash their hands. Peppa and Rebecca sang the Wash Your Hands song. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. Eating healthy food helps us stay fit and strong, said Dr. Brown Bear as he tried to open his snack box. Hmm, this seems to be stuck. Er, Nurse Fox, could you help me, please? Nurse Fox came over and opened the box easily. Nurse Fox, gasped Peppa. You must eat lots of healthy foods to be that strong. Everyone laughed. Peppa and her friends loved snack time. Yummy, they cried. Keeping fit and strong was delicious. You've done such a good job today, children, said Dr. Brown Bear. When they'd finished, I'm going to give you all a sticker. Hooray, cheered the children. They loved stickers too. Madame Gazelle brought out the dressing up box. It's time for you to be the doctors and nurses now, children, she said. Peppa and her friends had lots of fun dressing up. Dr. Brown Bear said Peppa to the doctor. You must keep fit and stay healthy, too. Of course, he replied. The children took Dr. Brown Bear outside and told him to go around and around the obstacle course. 
one more time, cried Peppa the doctor. Okay, puff, how's puff, this, gasped Dr. Brown Bear. When he was allowed to stop, he looked quite tired. Dr. Brown Bear doesn't look very well, said Peppa the doctor. I think he needs a plaster. And bandages, added Nurse Danny Dog. And more bandages, added Nurse Susie. Now he needs a sticker, says Peppa the doctor. All the little doctors and nurses covered Dr. Brown Bear in stickers. Thank you for being so helpful, said Dr. Brown Bear. He was covered in so many bandages, he couldn't move. What a patient, patient he was. What do we say to our visitors, asked Madame Gazelle. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Nurse Fox, cheered the children, giving them a big clap. Peppa loves doctors and nurses. Everyone loves doctors and nurses. Hey there, Elon kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig Dentist Trip. Every morning, Peppa and George brush their teeth. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. George, are your teeth as clean as mine? Peppa asks, showing off her clean white teeth. You both have lovely, clean teeth. I'm sure the dentist will be happy, calls out Daddy Pig. Later that day, Peppa and George are at the dentist's, waiting for their checkup. It is George's first visit. Peppa, George, the dentist will see you now, says Miss Rabbit, the nurse. Hooray, they both cheer. This is Dr. Elephant, the dentist. Who's first, he asks. I'm first, replies Peppa. I'm a big girl. Watch me, George. Open wide, please, order Dr. Elephant softly. Ah! Peppa opens her mouth as wide as she possibly can. Let's take a look says the dentist, checking Peppa's teeth with a mirror. There, all done. What lovely clean teeth, cheers Dr. Elephant. Now you can have the special drink. Gurgle, pew! Peppa spits the pink liquid out into the sink. It's George's turn next. George does not want it to be his turn. So the dentist let him hold Mr. Dinosaur. All done. You have very strong, clean teeth, George, smiles Dr. Elephant. But wait, what is this? cries Dr. Elephant. George has clean teeth, but this young dinosaur's teeth are very dirty. The water jet, please, Miss Rabbit, ordered the dentist. He uses the water to clean Mr. Dinosaur's teeth. Slosh, slosh, slosh. Pink, cries George, picking up a glass. That's right, George, says the dentist. Mr. Dinosaur needs some special pink drink. Gurgle, gurgle. Gosh, what shiny teeth you have, Mr. Dinosaur, cries Miss Rabbit. Dang, shaw, grr, snorts George. George loves Mr. Dinosaur, especially now that he has nice, clean teeth. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.